Hello everyone, welcome to helpyourmath.com. So this time we will talk about the finding z-score based on corresponding given the probability value. Okay, so look at this question please. So find the z-score that has 13.90% of the distribution's area to its left. Okay, so basically we know that whenever we read the z-score that we can find out the left-hand side area value, right? Okay, so, so based on the distribution, uh, whenever we have any z-score, something like that, then we can find its cumulative area on its left-hand side. So whatever uh, located on this z-score, they're all uh, less than this particular z1 score here. Okay, so that's the reason when we indicate the probability x is no, no, I mean the z. So z score is less than z1, then we are reading this particular z score. Okay? So now, now we are going backward now. So um, the left hand side area is given. So we need to using that area value and find its corresponding z score. Since it is show that uh, left hand side, you just find out corresponding z score. Okay, so follow me. So equal to, uh, we are doing normal, but this time we are doing the standard normal distribution. But should be inverse, because of we are going backward using the probability value. So click normal dot inverse and type 0.1390. Okay. So you must convert the percentage value to the decimal, otherwise or uh, even read it because um, the probability value cannot be uh, over 1. Okay, remember that. Okay, then now you can maybe just uh, reduce some decimal point then. Yeah, it's become maybe negative 1.085. So that's the answer for this problem here. Okay, then now look at the second questions. So find the z-score that has 81.23% of the distribution's area to its right. Okay. So, we confirm that whenever we reading any Z1 score, then it will be given left side here. But the particular question asks you this right hand side. Okay? Therefore, we need to apply another concept here. Because they are also one of the probability value. So, total sum become equal to 1. Okay, therefore, whatever you got this one, we need to subtract it from the 1. Okay, then that's how we can find out um, based the area value. But remember that this time rice area value is given. So we are subtracting this area value from the one. Then we can find this area value. And then we input this one into the uh, formula basically. So therefore, you can do it this way. So I'm going to say z equals. So first of all, equal to. Um, normal and actually 1 minus 0.8123 okay then that's basically our left hand side area therefore okay so I'm gonna move this one to bottom here so based on this okay that equal to so normal sorry so normal uh, as the inverse and then 0.1877. Okay, so that's the answer basically. So then I'm gonna just moving uh, decimal a little bit. So it become about negative 0.886. That's the answer for this answer. Or you can do just to do this way. So z equal to another way to do just making equal normal. And don't forget we are selecting this one. And then from here. 1 minus 0.8123. Okay, so they're also working basically. It is because we know that if it is on the its right side, then we need to subtract, like a subtract that value from the 1, then it representing left hand side area. That was the reason. Okay, and now let's move on to the third question here. So find the z score that has 92% of the distribution. So our lies between negative z and z. Okay. It implies that basically 
we have a negative z and positive z here the center area so this is the basically 90 so 92 percent okay so as you see you just read the negative z and z here right which means their absolute values are equal to each other but signs are different which means you know the each tail must hear exactly same amount of area all right so what do you want to do we want to do 1 minus 0.92 first then you will get 0.08 right okay then now from here you do divide by 2 then each one must have 0.04 here make sense to you yeah so this become 0.04 the other side also 0.04 okay so we want to find out the value like that so therefore we can do this way first so equal to 1 minus 0 0.9200 okay and then uh, now this part is equal to um, this value divided by 2 okay then now 0 0.04 here right we are using this value to find a um, negative z score so z um, negative z equal to sorry negative z okay so it, it's not working so I'm gonna just do it z equal to and then equal normal uh, inverse distribution and then put 0 0.04 okay then we got negative 1.75 right so this is negative z so positive z will be opposite one so 1.75069 uh, okay so that should be the answer basically or you can do this way too just input all the calculation into the formula here so equal norm then now we select as inverse here and now what did we do <coughs> because that lies in the center so we do 1 minus 0 0.9200 and then uh, after that we divide by 2 so we found out its tail side area right so just make a divide by 2 here okay then now you also got negative z score right away so then you can just answer take the opposite as well which is 1.75069 like that okay so I hope uh, this video helped you on uh, how to find the inverse of standard, uh, st standard normal distribution value then I will see you again with a different video alright thank you